Yo, what's going on guys, man? It's your boy Dignified2K and we're back with another video. And today guys, I got a really cool video for you. Before we get started though, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. You know, just a couple days ago, it felt like we were at 10k and we're already approaching 12k right now. So the support has been unreal and I cannot thank you guys enough. But anyways, today I got a really cool video for you guys. I know some of you guys were here for the stream a couple days ago. We actually got put up on by an NBA player. His name is Dorian Finney-Smith. He actually plays on the Mavericks. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few of his highlights from his rookie year last year. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys saw, you know, the stream. He's not a bad player. Uh, we took, we should have beat him for, like by a lot more, but we were kind of missing a lot of shots in the beginning. But shout out to him. You know, it's cool for NBA players to come out here and play. People definitely get, you know, draw some interest from the 2K community and watching them play and develop. But anyways, guys, if you're new, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I wasn't able to use the original footage from this just because I forgot to mute the audio from the live stream because I didn't know it was actually an NBA player until we started to play. But uh, yeah, I do have the gameplay recorded. I'm going to do a little bit of a commentary over it, but I do hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like I said, if you're new, subscribe, man. It's free. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're finally back at the park. As you guys can see right here, you can see the NBA logo over his head right now. Like I said before, we're playing Dorian Finney-Smith. Now, this is a rookie last year on the Mavericks. He's actually pretty good. You guys saw from his highlights, he blocked LeBron. The dude can shoot threes. He posted a couple people. So, yeah, this game was actually not too bad. Where you can see I was playing my guy Kyrie and JJ. Now, these guys were nothing special. I'm pretty sure this guy in the middle was one of his friends. But then, of course, he's running with a pure glass cleaner. So, a lot of you guys ask me how my center or how my guy goes against, like, glass cleaners and stuff like that. And you'll see a pretty good representation of how I really like to play. You can see right here, first shot is a miss. Now, like I said, guys, this game should have been a blowout. We made it a lot of dumb mistakes. Like, you see right there, miss pass. And then me jumping in the paint. You know, just something that's, like, mistakes you can't end up making. But you can see right here, we're going to bounce back. Easy mid-range shot for my guy Kyrie. Screened him, got him wide open. It was smart for him to step in, especially since he's a pure playmaker. And this uh, wasn't before the patch, but he's probably still going to made it regardless. But you can see right here, we got the passing lanes down. They're wrapping. Got my guy Kyrie wide open again in the corner brick. You can see, like I said, this game should already been like 7-2 to or 7-0 to zero, really if we played smart. But you can see right here, the first thing I did, got the box out against the glass cleaner. That's all you need to know. So for everybody that's asking me how my center does or how my power forward does against like glass cleaners and stuff like that you just have to play smart you can see right here i'm going straight under for the box out if he can't box me out it's a gg but uh, again right here i get baited bro i thought my guy was going to cut in regardless i probably had a dunk but you know i'm gonna go ahead and say i got baited i'm not afraid to like cut that out bro but anyway you can see right here gonna get my guy wide open i'm going for the three you guys know i can shoot threes but it made me go out all the way to the hash mark Again, I'm going to be right here. Do a hop shot. Should have probably shot it, but my guy is wide open, and that's another clank, dude. So you can, know, like, as you guys can see right here, the game should have been like 10 to 0. But anyway, my dude's going to be right here. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Dorian. He's going to pass it inside. Should have been a steal. I guess he wasn't expecting that pass. But, anyways, we're already tied up 4 4. Now, again, my guy JJ can cook up. I got him wide open. Uh, he takes a nice little step back shot right there. Easy 6-4 to four game. Now, my guy JJ cooked up this game. I'm not going to hold you guys. Now, when I'm a post score, I know you guys were like, whenever I run threes, you're like, oh, why aren't you doing any post moves? Why aren't you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. Now, the thing with post scores on the threes, you can't really post up that much and kind of spread the floor because it's easier to guard. Like, you know, two people can easily guard you. You can see right here, he's flopping. I didn't get the pass. But it's whatever, I guess. But on threes, it's kind of harder to be a post score. You kind of have to play the role of like a center. And if they really need a basket, they can dip it down to you because it's easy. I probably should have dropped more down, I guess, towards that. But he's going to go ahead and put it back up. Easy 6-6 six six game. That's the only reason this guy scores with switches. And when you're guarding like pure sharps and stuff like that, you have to make the switch no matter what. So like if I ever run with you guys, I do plan on running with subscribers this year. Make sure you drop down on screens because that's what was our problem this game either. We didn't really drop down that well. Like I said, this game should have been a huge blowout. We let them stay in it. But you can see right here, he's going to end up getting switched onto him. 
Dorian's gonna pull from deep. Go ahead and miss that shot. I'm gonna board it up. I see my guy Kyrie wide open, but I'm gonna do a quick little crossover to see if I can create space. Go ahead and start posting my guy up right here. I probably should have shot it, but I messed up that move, guys. I would have been wide open because he jumped, but he's gonna throw it out. Pump fake, go straight in. You know, I got a great fadeaway. That's green, bro. Bang. That's, you know, fade three. Go check out my video on my channel. If you guys want my animations, all that will be in the description. You guys ask that all the time. I do have my animations posted. So if you guys aren't knowing what my animations are, go check out my channel or go check the description. You know, my guy's going to go ahead and bang that shot, dude. So we got 9 to 10 game. My guy JJ's going to cook up again. Like I said, when you're a center or you're playing the center role in this game, you have to make sure you're setting screens to get effective shots. You don't want to be that guy just to sit the corner. This isn't really like 2K18 where you can kind of cook up like that. Not a lot of people can cook and there's no blow by. So it makes it definitely a lot harder. Again, I probably should have shot that great cut by my guy, JJ. I'm going to be wide open in the corner, but I actually, he contested kind of decently. Again, I was open right here, but Kyrie went and cut in, bro. I don't know why. I was trying to go for a reverse stung, but it's all good, man. We got the two regardless. But now he's 9 and 12. They got this guy cutting it up. All they did was kind of set screens with the glass cleaner, and they tried to wrap around with the sharpshooters pretty much the whole entire game. But you know, we're already on that. He's going to take a nice contested fadeaway, too. Like I said, this is pre patch so they're knocking down a lot of these shots they probably shouldn't have, or maybe won't even start hitting like after the patch anyway. But you can see, I'm telling you guys, my guy JJ cooks, bro. I was probably wide open right there, but somehow he hits that shot, and now you know my guy's got takeover, man. Quick 14 11. I'm playing my role, you know, something simple. I'm not going crazy. I don't know. I, he banged that, you know. This is a good shot, I guess, but pure sharpshooters, you cannot give any room. That with I can settle with that. If pure sharpshooters, go ahead, you can make that. The shot creators, bro. The shot creators hitting shots from limitless, bro. Fading away, no sir. But you can see I'm wide open. Somehow that's lightly contested. I don't I have no clue how that was lightly contested. End up missing that shot. So right here we have to make sure nobody scores. He's pulling up from half court. Luckily he missed it. I thought he was gonna hit that shot, man. But we gotta take smart shots. My guy JJ's got takeover and he's a shot creator. If you have takeover on the shot creator, it's over, bro. You get any amount of space, and he's pulling that shot. He passes out to me. I see him wide open again. I'm going to go ahead and try to post him up a little bit. But, you know, that's the thing. Like I said, when you're on threes, it's easy to double team. It's easy to reach, all that kind of stuff. So you kind of have to play a different role than you would on the threes. Or, yeah, a different role on the threes than you would on the twos. But I'm going to go ahead and send my guy a screen. Probably should have cut right there, but he was kind of playing it regardless. We got a fresh new clock, all 24 seconds. Now, guys, we're going to take this break a little bit. Thank you guys again, like I said, for all the support. I'll be streaming again tonight. So if you guys don't have notifications on, man, go ahead and turn them on. I will be streaming a long time tonight and this weekend. You can see JJ pulls from D, bro. That That's no joke. That freaking takeover badge on the shot creator is no joke, man. Fade away, limitless. I don't, I don't even know, man. It's glitchy. But you can see right there, they're, dip, they're dipping it into the glass cleaner. They need a three desperately, and he ends up banging that shot. And then also, guys, if you notice, my Elgato's been cutting out kind of weirdly lately. I don't really know what's going on. If you guys know, I got a new laptop, and, like, ever since I got the new laptop, I've been getting weird cuts in my gameplays. I don't know what's going on, but you can see JJ pulls from, oh, my gosh, he pulls from stupid deep, ends up hitting that shot. I'm telling you, I told you guys JJ went crazy this game. But if you guys know a fix to that Elgato problem, let me know in the comment section. I tried a lot of different things. But I can't send, I can't end up really finding what to do. But you can see right here, he's gonna go ahead and shoot the contested two fadeaway, bro. Ends up hitting it. We just weren't giving up three, so I guess we would settle for that. But this is gonna be the last possession of the game, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Again, thanks Dorian for pulling up, man. That was a good game. But anyways, guys, I've been dignified and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.